Hello again, all the Zemo Pie, and patch 5.3 is nigh. What to expect? Well, first of all, we got all kinds of changes. One of the big ones, herbalism, mining. You no longer have to have any skill level at all to farm in Pandaria. However, you will get a smaller version of an ore. It'll take a stack of 10 to actually create one item. Same with herbs, a stack of 10. The item upgrade guy is back. Yes, he is. You cannot upgrade your new PvP gear, however. Uh, only PvE gear, or old PvP gear, which doesn't make much sense. They also lowered the cost significantly for all items. So, good. Good stuff. The coolest thing so far that I've found in patch 5.3 is the transmog change. You no longer have to go back and forth to void storage, back and forth to your bank. If you just click the little arrow, it shows you every single item for that slot in your possession. You click it, you press apply, you're transmogged. It is awesome. So, so good. As you may know, they added a new battleground. And uh, I did a video. There's a link here. Bam. And a new arena. I like it a lot. This is Tiger's Peak. This is probably my favorite arena. I also did a video on that. And the link is there. Four new scenarios. I've done those. Links are here. And they also added heroic scenarios. You do have to have a group to queue for those. And uh, they are heroic. Okay, okay, let's get into PvP changes. First of all, resilience. Everybody has 65% base resilience now. Base. They've changed a lot of things. Also, they have removed resilience from almost all gear. Almost all. So you can see I have no resilience on my gear. They also changed my uh, resilience bonus, my four set bonus. You get the thousand resilience. Uh, they changed that on everybody. They no longer get that. It's PvP power now. So that's a big change, as you can see. Now you also may have noticed uh, my gems. Gems have been nerfed. PvP power and PvP resilience are now main stats. Just like agility or intellect. They are main stats, so they are half of what they used to be. Half. And uh, it's changed a lot. Now, you may have noticed my PvP power is very, very low. Well, I am gemmed full PvP power and in full tyrannical gear. So it is that they've just been adjusting it, and that's where it ended up. And uh, it actually feels okay. Uh, I still do enough damage, and fights last a little bit longer. So yeah, as you can see, they've done a lot to PvP gear. Malevolent, still ugly. <laughs> Tyrannical, uh, they upped the item level to 496. And they did that because they capped battlegrounds, arenas, and raided battlegrounds at item level 496. You can go in there in full PvP gear, uh, full PvE gear, heroic, 5 whatever it is, 530, and um, you're still capped at 496, it's going to drop you down. They've also changed the way Elite Gear works. It no longer is an upgrade. It's four, well, weapons are 498, and uh, the gear is 496. It does look different, and it's a status symbol. It shows that you're a badass, that you've earned that many Conquest points to buy it. You don't need the 2200 rating or anything like that, like the old days. Um, they do have some items that are rating only. Uh, there's a cloak and a tabard, a gladiator tabard, that are for 2,500 rated players and up, and there are 1,000 conquest points. As you saw, there's that meta gem, you need 27,000 conquest points for the season to purchase that, and that is a huge change. Battle fatigue has changed as well. This reduces healing done by a player to a player while you're in combat with them. They've changed it up to 45%, it was 30. One of the other things they did, they nerfed experience from 85 to 90. This is my live Pally, and uh, he's level 87. I l copied him to the PTR, automatically he leveled up, didn't have to do anything. And you can see the difference in experience needed is significant, it's about 33% different. One of the other things they did for level 80s, when you're coming out of Wrath of the Lich King, you usually have shit gear, trust me, I am leveling on the... EU and it sucks bad. They added a vendor in High Jewel to sell you Cataclysm Greens. It's only 232, but it's still so much better than the item level 150s or whatever you had uh, as you quested in Wrath of the Lich King. It sucks. 
but uh, this is a nice change and uh, it's too bad that I'm already getting uh, I'm ahead of this on my EU monk okay some of the other things that they've changed speaking of leveling how about BOA gear finally 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 we're getting the BOA shields now these were done and ready for 5.2 but then there was some sort of bug with them so they they took them out and we're finally getting them for 5.3 uh, you get a tank shield a caster shield beautiful one of the other things that they did is they nerfed the cost to upgrade your BOA gear which really really frustrates me because I just finished upgrading two full sets trinkets and all uh, and it's ridiculously cheaper it was 2750 I think to upgrade each trinket and now you can see the difference and I want an effing refund blizzard so they've also changed the layout of a few things uh, Dalaran Arena now has steps on all four sides rather than the boxes and you just fall down um, I'm not sure what they did with the boxes I haven't been able to get into that arena yet but uh, I'll work on it also they have changed Eye of the Storm the starting platform is now small no more slow falling all the way to the flag it's not gonna happen you will still be able to kite off but not in rated battlegrounds now monks got a few tweaks nothing game changing but they did up our damage slightly <laughs> Yes, yes, they did. Um, but it's really not as crazy as it might seem. I, I am kind of buff right there. Anyway, moving on. Let's see, what else is there to talk about? Uh, PvP healing and flag carrying. First of all, tank specs that carry a flag in an RBG immediately get a 50% increase to damage taken. Immediately when they pick up a flag. Uh, other classes and specs that aren't tank spec will get a 20% debuff immediately when they pick up the flag in an RBG. So that is neat and that may open the window for DPS to start carrying the flag. And uh, are there any DPS better than a Windwalker for carrying a flag? I'm trying to think, but I can't think of any. Hmm. RBG potential. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. Now they also changed the way that healing works with PvP power. Uh, healing specs get 100% of their PvP power. Many classes like druids, pallies, shamans, monks get 70%, and then everybody else like tank specs and stuff will get 40%. Uh, it's a big nerf for some of those classes, and I'm okay with that. Anyway, there are so many changes and things, pet battles, abilities, I can't get into it all in a 10 minute video. I got the important things to me, and uh, all in all, monks are looking very good. We've had some tweaks, we've had some changes, but we're looking good, and uh... Yeah, I'm pretty excited for 5.3. We're maybe two weeks out. I, I can't imagine it's going to be much longer than that before 5.3 is live. It's very, it's looking good on the, the PTR. As far as stat priorities, I will get that video out later this week. I'm working on it. And yeah, any questions down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to play with me, there's a link in the description. Follow the instructions to my Facebook and we'll get it together. I'm playing EU and US now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Eatmo Pie. I'll see ya.